I tell anybody. Shut up! Did you seriously tell him all this shit about me? No. I, um, keep a diary. And he read it. The bastard. Oh well, I'll look after him. Why don't you go to, uh... Work? Don't go! Amy! Amy, help me! I need your help! Great idea. Sorry again about this. It's nothing personal. It just needs a cup of coffee to straighten him out. Yeah. Bye. Amy! Jack, stay away from me. You've done this. You've put a spell on me or something. You're evil. Hang on a minute. We're both in exactly the same situation. Notice how much calmer I am. Now stop so we can talk about this. Just leave me alone. Oh, God, my body feels so weird. Jesus, don't you ever exercise? Slow down. You'll give me another heart attack. I can't even look at you. This is so messed up. It's the same for me as it is for you, you know. Come on. I'll buy you a coffee. Have you got any idea how this might have happened? No. Oddly enough, this is my first time swapping bodies. Something like this doesn't just happen randomly. There's got to be some cause, some connection between the two of us. Okay, give me a moment to process this. Shit! What must they be thinking of work? Well, I'm you, right? I've got your phone here. Let me call in sick for you. Actually, not a bad idea. Okay, look for Sonia in my contacts. She's the receptionist at work. Tell her I got the squits or something. That's what Jack would say. Okay, it's ringing. Superfab Games, Sonia speaking. Oh, hi, Sonia. It's Jack. I've got a wobbly tummy and can't make it in today. Ah, oh, Skyver. No worries, I'll tell Derek. Enjoy your lying. No, really. I'm very poorly. She hung up. Yeah. Sonia's safe. Hey, hang on a minute. Your phone's buzzing. Answer it. Say you're me. Uh, hello? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Are you going to tell me who that was? Who's your daughter's school? I said to let them know in future if you plan to keep Molly home for the day. I'm such an idiot. I shouldn't have taken her to school. She must have been so confused about everything. Well, you did drop her off in my body. I mean, she possibly thought that was a little bit weird. Shut up and help me look for her. Hey, relax. Look, she's probably just in the park, right? Playing on the swings, like, you know, like a kid. You need to chill out. She does like the swings. Okay, let's try there first. It feels seriously weird being you. Oh, everything jiggles about as I move. Can you focus on the matter at hand? My daughter may have been kidnapped. Mate, she's probably just drinking cider behind a tree somewhere. Take that at this point. That's the spirit.
There you are. Thank God. Oh, hi, Jack. Nice to see you. This is going to take some explaining. So I didn't go to school. Am I in trouble? What? Nah. We're cool. No worries. Molly, promise me you'll never do that again. You scared me to death. Why are you both being so weird? Dad, I was worried you were poorly, so I wanted to go home. But then I got scared you'd be angry. Are you going to tell her or am I? There's something we need to talk to you about. Let's get you home. How come Jack's here? I think you should ask John that. I, I mean, Jack. We have something to tell you that affects all three of us. Is it about our post? see. Oh, you know on Halloween, where everyone dresses up in different clothes and pretends to be someone else? Well, this is a little bit like that. What? Our brains have got swapped. What he's trying to say is that we seem to be in each other's bodies. I'm me, your dad. And that makes me Jack, not dad. Makes sense? You've swapped brains? Yes. And you're my dad? Yeah. And this isn't a joke? No. OK. Chicken dippers. Solid dinner choice, John. They're the business. So, what happens now? Bodies back. All oh, right, Dad, you've got a sauce down your front. That shirt's limited edition. Sorry, I'm still getting used to my arms and legs being different sizes. You both look a bit of a state. You should dress each other up properly. It's true. We need to swap wardrobes. Okay. Let's see what I've got to work with. She's a smart kid. She is. How do you put up with feeling out of breath all the time? It's not so bad. I don't know how my clothes look so bad when you wear them. <laughs> We're going to have to perform a wardrobe transplant on you. Go and get some clothes from the wardrobe in my bedroom. Right, well, it's been quite a day. I should probably be...